Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add Google reviews for free um, to your WordPress website um, and we're going to do that using a plugin. Um, so let's get started. Um, so first we're going to come over to our WordPress dashboard and we are going to go add the plugin. We go to plugins and add new. Click on that and then we're going to search for plugins and we're going to search for Google Review. We're going to search for that and this is the plugin we're looking for. It's called Plugin for Google Reviews. We're going to click on Install Now. And once that's installed, we're going to click on Activate. And that will take us to the Google Reviews uh, plugin. And then, so as we can see from here, there's three or four um, tabs over here that we can click on. You can go to Overview. Uh, you can click on Widgets. This is where you're going to create your first widget, which we're going to do shortly. There is Settings. And this is just, you can enable or disable your Google Reviews plugin. You can add an API key and there are some advanced settings over here. If you want to delete or disconnect your your feed or uninstall it and reinstall it from scratch or recreating the database. So for now we're going to head back to widgets. And we're going to click on create new, actually let's go to overview because we want to add our place ID and this is how we're going to create our first widget. So to do that you need to go to your Google business profile and I have it opened over here. You can just Google the name or you can go to maps. I've done it inside Google um, because once we come in here and we found the business we're looking for. All we need to do is we need to click on reviews. So if you click on the reviews and then over here you can right click and click on inspect. So once you do this you can you need to find your data PID which is over there and we need to copy and paste this ID over here and this is our place ID that we need to connect to to set up the feed. I'm just going to do that and copy and then once we've done that we go head back and we can paste that in over there and we can choose a language English and say connect to Google. Excellent so once that's done we can it connects to our Google uh, reviews and it will pull that in and from there we can now um, choose different settings and we can make it we can customize it to the way we want it to look so if we just go through the settings quickly you can you have the option of a slider or a list view I'm going to select a slider. We go to common options. You have some settings over there. You can hide it based on reviews. You can hide review us on G button, which is that over there. You can hide rating header and leave only the reviews. You can hide reviews and leave only the rating header. And if you go to slider options, you can determine the speed of your slider. Um, one is going to be very fast and 10 will be um, a bit slower. I think I'll leave it on 10 seconds. Or maybe let's leave it on 5. 
um, you can also put in the text height you can also hide the background of it you can hide the previous and the next buttons if you'd like or hide the dots and then if you go to style options you can change the height and the width of the container you can for instance make it a hundred and it'll be a bit smaller you can make it whatever you like or need it to be and you can also put, select a darker background if you'd like and if you go to advanced options here you can there's a few more options that you can do you can cache the data and you can open links in a new window and so on I'm just going to leave it on the default options for now and then once you've done that you can simply click save and refresh and that's done over there so from here we're going to need to copy our uh, short code next let's just go ahead and copy and paste that and then we're going to add this to our website so if you go to your website you can edit what you can go to the page that you're looking to edit to add the 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 review slider so i'm going to add this over here you can add a row layout and then i've already done that and then after the row layout i'm going to search for short code and i'm going to add that over here and then we simply copy and paste that short code over here and we click on update so once that's done we can head over to the website and we can see what that looks like and that's how it looks like perfect thank you for watching if you found this helpful please consider subscribing and liking the video bye